mysterious, exotic. A simple beauty that will catch one's breath. This is Thailand. Ninety-four women, confident, poised, determined, each representing a different point on the globe. They've come to this jewel of Southeast Asia to compete in the greatest contest of its kind. Ninety-four women. Only one will become Miss Universe. Competition, hosted by Steve Harvey, with Ashley Graham, Luciera, and Carson Cressley. Plus, live performances from three-time Grammy winner and international superstar Neo. Now, please welcome your host, Steve Harvey.
Man, folks, we really put those women on the spot. The selection committee and the Miss Universe organization factored in the contestants' responses as they made the difficult decision of choosing 20 semifinalists. And these 20 semifinalists will come from three regions of the world, five from the Americas, five from Europe, and five from Africa and Asia Pacific. But for those contestants not selected, they will have one more shot. Five wild card spots are up for grabs and can be drawn from any of the three regions. Now, let's meet the 31 contestants from our first region, Africa and Asia Pacific. <laughs> Mongolia Myanmar Namibia Nepal New Zealand Nigeria Philippines Singapore South Africa Curacao, the 
Dominican Republic. Ecuador. El Salvador. Guatemala. Haití. Honduras. Jamaica. México. Nicaragua. Panamá. Paraguay. Perú. Puerto Rico. Uruguay USA US Virgin Island Venezuela And now it's time to announce our first five semifinalists The very first contestant from Africa and Asia Pacific to move into the semifinals is South Africa. Thank you, South Africa. The second semifinalist from Africa and Asia Pacific. Philippines. Thank you, Philippines. Next to advance to the top 20 is Nepal! Thank you, Nepal. She is also heading to the semifinals. Vietnam! For the women of Africa and Asia Pacific, there is only one spot remaining. Thailand! Europe's first to enter the semifinals is Poland. Thank you, Poland. Locking down the second spot is Belgium. Thank you, Belgium. Next to advance is Great Britain. Thank you, Great Britain. <laughs> yeah. 
Only two spots remain for Europe. Also headed to the semifinals is Hungary. Thank you, Hungary. 27 women are waiting to hear their names, but there's only one spot left. Rounding out Europe's top five is... Ireland! Thank you very much, Ireland. First from the Americas to step into the top 20 is... Curacao! Thank you, Curacao. The next contestant to earn a spot in the semifinals is... Costa Rica! Thank you, Costa Rica. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving one step closer to the crown is... Canada! Thank you, Canada. Earning the next spot in the top 20 is... Puerto Rico! Thank you very much, Puerto Rico. Your little baby girl got in, man. Yeah. Folks, only one spot left for the Americas. The contestant who still has a chance to wear the crown is... Jamaica! Congratulations, Jermaine. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> the first of our wild card semifinalists from the Americas, USA. Thank you, USA. Moving into the semifinals from the Americas is... Venezuela! Thank you, Venezuela. <laughs> Only three more spots remain. Our next semifinalist from Africa and Asia Pacific is... Indonesia! Thank you, Indonesia. Our 19th semifinalist, who is one step closer to the crown from the Americas, is Brazil! Thank you, Brazil. Well, 
This is it. Get ready. Our 20th and last semi-finalist from Africa and Asia Pacific is Australia. Thank you, Australia. That was pretty good, though. Got to get a dictionary. Well, congratulations to our top 20 semifinalists. Tonight, we began with the record number tw uh, 94 Miss Universe contestants. After a tough preliminary competition, the most determined competitors stood out from the pack, and our selection committee chose 20 outstanding semifinalists. Let's meet them once again. Australia. Belgium. Brazil. Your eyes follow like a spotlight. Canada. Costa Rica. Curacao. Great Britain. Hungary. Indonesia. Ireland. Philippines, Poland, Puerto Rico, you can be cool. South Africa, Thailand, USA, your body talks, your body talks, Venezuela, Vietnam. Now, this year, we've added an all-new round of competition we call the opening statement. Each contestant has prepared a personal message to share with the world. We will hear from our top 20, and then the selection committee will narrow the field to 10. Let's check in with Ashley, Carson, and Lou for more. Thank you, Steve. Okay, so this is really new round, mm -hmm. and it's a complete game changer. What do you guys think of this new element? I think it's great because I think it gives the audience and also the selection committee a chance to really get to know all of these women. Yes, and Lou, what do you think? I love it. I love it because speaking is very important in this job, mm -hmm. probably more so than walking because she doesn't do fashion week. Right. And I love that the Universe organization is always trying new things. Right, and I do love it because we get to hear what they have to say. Right. Because when you are crowned Miss Universe, it's not just about being beautiful, being in a swimsuit. It's about poise and what you right. have to say for the universe and also, your country. what you're passionate about. Yes. You know, each of them has a platform, so I think it's a great moment. We get a little bit of a taste of that. Yes, I do love that. All right, Lou, you spent a lot of time with these women. So what do you think that they need in order to shine here? They need to be themselves, and right now, Great Britain rocked my world. Yes! I, I knew she could speak. I had no idea she could sing like that love Canada. She comes across with old Hollywood glamour. I'm a little worried about Belgium. She's very shy. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, so now that we're going to head back to Steve for our first 10 opening statements. Thanks, Ashley. We're giving all of our semifinalists 15 seconds. Contestants, tell us the most important thing you want the world to know about you. South, South Africa, start us off. Saudika, Thailand. As a medical student and tuberculosis survivor, a disease that kills millions of people every year, I'm one of the lucky few to survive, and I'm able to tell my story through my hashtag Break the Stigma campaign. And I hope I can encourage everyone out there who's facing any adversity or any challenge to speak up about their story. Kapkunka. Philippines, you're next. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka. Nepal, step on up. I see myself 
I see myself as a pioneer. I'm a first-generation immigrant and a first-generation college graduate. That fact alone has made me value my dreams and feel empowered. I now work to empower the women and girls in my community who face menstrual health challenges by providing them health training, solutions, and health education. Kasodika. Vietnam, it's time. Xin chào. I am an ethnic minority. Uh, I'm just to get, uh, to get married at 14, but no, I'm to education. Uh, from nothing. I'm here I am. I can do, you can do it. Thank you. Thailand, what would you like the world to know about you? To many, I dream an impossible dream to be a Miss Universe. I dare to overcome all fear of failure, criticism to join this journey. And I'm doing with all I am and all I have to fulfill not only my dream, but the dream of Thai people. Holy, you're up. The fact that I'm standing here is the proof that it's always worth to be yourself. And this is the message, especially for the youngest girl. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be the best version of yourself. And you have to work hard and also believe in yourself. Thank you so much. Belgium, let's hear from you. I wanted to tell you that at age 13, I didn't accept my body. I wanted to tell you that at age 13, I didn't embrace my body. Et je voudrais faire passer un message à toutes les femmes. And I would like to pass on a message to all women. Soyez forte. Be strong. Ne laissez jamais personne vous juger. Don't let anybody judge you. Être ici devant vous est ma plus belle réussite. Kapunka. To be here in front of you is my biggest success. Kapunka. Great Britain, it's your turn. When a knee injury ended my dreams of becoming an Olympic athlete, I quickly realized that in this life, we are all entitled to more than one dream. This belief inspired me to become a barrister and the advocate for victims of acid attacks and equal pay. This is what I want the world to remember me for. Thank you. Hungary, step to the mic. After I graduated at high school, I decided to travel as a model. I ended up in the most beautiful places all around the world, but I felt so aimless and alone. Now I'm back to Hungary studying at the university, financing the accounting, and I'm very satisfied and happy with my life. Thank you. Ireland, our 10th semi-finalist, do you think? As a nurse, with a dream of, of opening my own female health clinic, I want to use my knowledge and my experience to educate women on how to look after themselves. I want to raise awareness about female health and as Miss Universe, I would shine a light on the unfortunate stigma that surrounds female health in society. Kapkunka. Thank you. Kurosau, lead us off. Despite of society's ideology of beauty, the most important thing for me is to stay true to the woman I was created to be, making sure to express the highest and the truest expression of myself with love, respect, and a lot of confidence. Costa Rica, you're next. Costa Rica, you're next. Well, I come from a place where they taught me to find happiness in the simplicity of nature and the healing power of love. This is why I don't dream with a physical crown or a title. I dream with the opportunity to represent each and every one of you behind that screen that still believe that the world can be changed by planting seeds of love and acceptance. Thank you. 
Canada. Step on up. I'm fortunate enough to come from the land of opportunity. I was blessed with a 10-year modeling career that took me around the world where I realized that there's a need for change. I chose to be a part of that change by pursuing, studying biomedical engineering so that I can help people all around the world regardless of who they are and where they come from. I believe that it's important to always be the hardest working person in the room. Thank you. Puerto Rico, let's hear from you. El universo debería saber de mí que soy una luchadora y una creyente, que no he tenido una vida fácil. I've been a fighter and a believer. I haven't had a very easy life. Y aunque muchas puertas se me han cerrado, nunca he perdido la fe. And even though many doors have closed on me, I have never lost my faith. Y tampoco he dejado de creer en mí. And I've never stopped believing in myself. Por eso donde quiera que voy, siempre llevo un mensaje de esperanza. That's why wherever I go, I always want to deliver a message of hope. Inspiro y motivo a las personas a que sigan sus sueños, porque okay. pueden alcanzar lo que ellos se propongan. I want to inspire and motivate people to achieve their dreams, whatever those may be. Capunca. Six more semi-finalists left. Jamaica, what would you like the world to know about you? I started my Miss Universe journey despite my insecurities. I know that, I know that I actually started it to work on my insecurities. And, oh. And now that I've realized that a queen defines her own perfection, I know I have what it takes to inspire, to relate, and most importantly, to comfort young women across the world and across the universe. Thank you so much. Sadika. USA, step forward. As a certified child life specialist, I break down medical jargon to relieve anxieties. As the next Miss Universe, if I were to be chosen, I would utilize my career experience as well as my own hospitalization to bring children from around the world child life strategies because I don't believe any child believes needs to feel alone or scared. Thank you. Kapunka. Venezuela, you're up. I had learned to be confident, constant, and determined woman. Thanks to the example for my mother, who gave me the valor for in, my, in my family. He fought and beat the cancer. In a country where the people suffer the, co the consequence, do not find the medicine. I am here so proud to shout to the world that we Venezuelans are warriors of love. Capon Cat Island. Indonesia, step up to the mic. Being raised with a family from four different religions and seeing that there's many cultural differences and also religion intolerance and gender equality, inequality have been much, have been the, the cause of the trouble in Indonesia and also persecution inspired me to do a campaign called Be Diverse, Be Tolerant to encourage all the people to embrace the differences and respect for others. Thank you, Captain Ha. Brazil, it's your time. Sawarka, Thailand. I am Mayra Diaz, Miss Brazil 2018, and I'm proud of being from the Amazon in Brazil. And my mission is make people aware of the importance of the environment. This is crucial to ensure the future of the next generation. Conserve the Amazon is preserving life on the earth. Thank you so much. Australia, take us home.
I am an advocate of cultural diversity and I have come to learn the importance of diversity through my own experiences of growing up biracial in Australia. I believe that there is not one single definition of beauty, but embracing one's difference is what truly makes you beautiful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 20. Eliminations are coming up, but first, let's check in with Ashley. All right, thank you, Steve. As somebody who has worked hard to challenge the conception of how we measure beauty, it's exciting for me in this competition to get, that it gets more and more diverse every year. And tonight, it marks another milestone. Yo siempre he pensado que, que era muy positivo soñar. Angela Ponce, Miss Universe of Spain. Angela Ponce is everything you'd expect from the reigning Miss Universe Spain. She's smart, driven, beautiful. But her path has been anything but ordinary and nothing short of extraordinary. Muchas personas no tienen la información de lo que es ser una mujer transgénero. Tener esa parte de ti que, que te dice que tu identidad es femenina. La identidad viene con nosotros desde antes de nacer. Angela is changing history as the first transgender woman to contend for the title of Miss Universe. At a young age, Angela suffered bullying from classmates. But with the love and support of her family, she has faced life with a smile. However, acceptance is still not absolute, even in some corners of the pageant community. Ya vivimos en un siglo donde no podemos seguir repitiendo patrones eh, pasados. Para erradicar la tolerancia, creo que sería muy importante eh, inculcar esos valores desde pequeños. Today, Miss Universe Spain is a vocal advocate for inclusiveness. Hers is a message of acceptance for all people, regardless of their differences. Y de representar a la diversidad del ser humano en el mundo. Así que... Mi esperanza es que el día de mañana podamos vivir en un mundo en igualdad para todos. Simplemente que entendamos que somos seres humanos y que tenemos que hacernos la vida mucho más fácil los unos a los otros. La realidad de muchas personas van a cambiar. Y si yo eso lo puedo llevar al mundo, yo no necesito ganar mi universo, solo necesito estar aquí. Ladies and gentlemen, Angela Ponce. Welcome back to Miss Universe live from Bangkok. The field of 20 contestants is about to be cut in half. The official accounting firm of Ernst & Young have verified these results. It's time to reveal our top 10. The first to move forward in the competition is South Africa.
South Africa. Also entering the next round is Vietnam. Vietnam. Earning the third spot is Venezuela. Venezuela. Still in the running is Philippines. Philippines. Moving one step closer to the crown is Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Stepping into the sixth spot is Curacao. Curacao. Also advancing to the next round is Nepal. Nepal. Just three spots left. Earning the next one is Canada. Canada. Locking down the ninth spot is Thailand. Thailand. Eleven women are still hoping to hear their names called. But only one spot remains in the top 10. The last contestant to make it into the next round is... Puerto Rico! Puerto Rico! Let's hear it for our top 10 finalists. Each of these outstanding women have risen above the rest, and now they're set to battle it out for the Miss Universe title. When we come back, we're going head to head in the swimsuit competition. The crown is on the line. This is Miss Universe live on Fox. Welcome back, everybody. The swimsuit round is just ahead. But earlier this week, our contestants competed in one of my favorite parts of Miss Universe. It's the National Costume Competition. It's crazy. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Outfits that you would not believe. Check it out. I represent power. Ooh. I'm going to be all light enough. Welcome to the 2018 Miss Universe National Costume Show. Please welcome Guatemala. It took more than 60 days to produce this masterpiece. Well, uh, I'm here with the winner of the National Costume Competition, which was Laos. 
How are you? I'm doing good, Steve. Thank you. Let me let me ask you something. The inspiration for this costume right here. You you must have friends in your life that you consider dead weight. Uh, not really. You know, friends that's just along for the ride. Yeah. You know, people hanging on, don't pull their own weight. Yeah, yeah. Waiting on you to move so they can move. I know, I have these two. So. Yes, I have a lot of these. I should have this costume. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so proud for winning uh, the best national cost uh, costume today and represent my country, Lao. So this is the first year that we're participating in Miss Universe, so I'm so glad that we make it this far. Well, congratulations, you did it. I gotta get me one of these, this is nice. Hey, let's check in with Ashley, Carson, and Lou. All right, thank you, Steve. Now, Carson, mm. you're ready, because it's just moments away from the swimsuit round. I know, that is my absolute favorite. And this year, all of our contestants' swimsuits were designed by Thailand's own princess, Siri One Not Worry. And the princess has been making some serious waves in the fashion world. Lou? You loving, loving the, the new swimsuits. swimsuits? We love yes. the color, and the girls love the way they move when they're walking in them. All right, let's get to it, Steve. Well, our top ten have been revealed, and now it's time for them to take the stage. At this point in the game, there's no room for mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimsuit competition begins right now. I'm in London, got my beef from London. I style, no styles, no Chanel, Saint Laurent, Gucci bag, huh? Lifestyle, no styles, Louis Vuitton, Jimmy Choo, that's on you, huh? Diamonds on my neck, frozen tears, hopping out the jet, leers. Yeah, don't call me till the checks clear. They ain't talking about fast talk, running laps. Now I'm not playing it. Fresh vanilla sipping on, lid just picking up. Hong Kong, Morocco, I'm here. No style. Yeah, look around, they cry. She said, I ain't got no heart. Fight it. I stop. No stylish, no Chanel, Saint Laurent, Gucci bag, huh? Lifestyle, no stylish, Louis Vuitton, Jimmy Choo, that's on you, huh? Diamonds on my neck. And now, here are your top ten finalists, starting with South Africa. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. She checks all the boxes. And from the moment she walked in rehearsal, I couldn't stop looking at her, and neither could the other contestants. She is definitely crowning material. Look at the walk in the face. Vietnam. Uh, the swimsuit competition is all about confidence, and Vietnam is just radiating that confidence. She's got a confident walk, she's giving us a little attitude, really working this moment. Venezuela! Wow, her turns have always been incredible. She's a perfectionist. She came with a plan, and every move she does is well thought out and executed. Oh, wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's, she's killing the game here. Costa Rica. Was one of those not afraid to be daring, as you can tell, by the way she opened up her cover-up. She caught my eye early on. She came ready to compete. And she has a commanding air about her, even when she's smiling. Curacao. Curacao, Cura, wow. I mean, she is commanding the runway. 
great smile, and just, you know, again, really exuding that confidence, which is what this swimsuit competition is really all about. Nepal was not one of those the girls would have put to be here, but has not let me down. She has an intensity with her eyes. I love her flirt. She doesn't smile a lot. Let's see if she gives us some now. Good girl. Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada's a real crowd favorite here in Thailand. You can hear the house going wild. She just has a great, easy kind of uh, relaxed kind of glamour about her, and it really works on the runway. Thailand! Okay, listen to the cheers. How can she not be energized by all this support? Come on. A serene beauty and extremely confident. Puerto Rico! Puerto Rico again. Really beautiful, easy elegance, having a great time on the runway, really having fun with this moment and enjoying every step. Again, all I can say is wow. Woo! Puerto Rico, Venezuela, a very, very strong group. One of the strongest groups I think we've had in the Miss Universe Absolutely. competition for I a agree. long time. I agree. Okay, swimsuit may be over, but there's a lot more competition ahead. Ten world-class women are all competing for the chance of a lifetime. And by the end of the night, one of them will don the crown. When we come back, the fight for the title continues with the evening gown competition. This is Miss Universe live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss Universe. One year ago, the life of Demi Lee Nell Peters changed forever when she became Miss Universe 2017. Let's take a look at her inspiring year after winning the crown. I always knew that becoming Miss Universe would be life-changing, but I guess I never really knew exactly how much until I got to live it. Miss Universe is South Africa! I participated in Las Vegas, it was my first time in the United States, and from there on, I moved to New York City and I began my journey as Miss Universe. I got to travel to countless countries, meet extraordinary people. But what I'm most proud of this year is to have been given the chance to expand my campaign, Unbreakable. Yeah. Back in June 2017, I was hijacked and held at gunpoint by five armed men. Thankfully, I managed to escape that situation by punching the guy in his throat and getting him to back off and eventually run away. Yes. I punched it. <laughs> Unbreakable is a campaign aimed at empowering women with the skills and knowledge on how to handle violent related situations. Hopefully through my Unbreakable campaign, I can help inspire change for violence against women to finally end. Looking back at this year and all the experiences I've gained, the places I got to see, the people I got to meet, I think I kind of surprised myself. Being Miss Universe does not happen the moment you win that crown. I truly feel like it happens when you wear that crown for a year and fulfill that role. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the reigning Miss Universe, Demi Lee Nell Peters. Well, how are you, Demi? I'm doing great, Steve. Good evening, Thailand. 
So tell us, Demi, how important is it for you to empower women around the world with your Unbreakable campaign? Steve, I started Unbreakable through a personal horrifying experience I went through. And Becoming Miss Universe gave me a global platform and a global voice. And you know what? I wanted to use that voice to make a meaningful difference in the lives of women all over the world. And I think I managed to do that. I will continue to do that in my country, South Africa, and in every corner of the world that I get to travel to, because no woman des deserves to be a victim of violence or crime. Thank you. Kapunka. Yes. Thank you, Demi Lee. Hey, listen, we look forward to seeing you back on stage later tonight. All right, now let's check in with Ashley. Hey guys, I'm back here hanging out in the Chi Lounge and we've got evening gowns coming up. So make sure you stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss what we're about to see. Coming up next, things get stylish when the contestants step onto the stage for the evening gown competition. Hair and makeup, we gotta do this. Then 10 becomes five and they face the challenge of the final question. Well, we want to stage, everyone. Plus, Another electrifying live performance from Neo during the final look. Stand by. Oh my God. When Miss Universe returns live on Fox. 30 seconds of show. Here we go, everybody. Okay, ladies, here we go. Line up. Showtime. Welcome back. I'm backstage here with Philippines. And this is there's so much going on right now. So what's the number one thing on your mind right now? I just want to go out there and be my best. And I can feel my country right behind me. So I'm so honored to be in the top 10. I'm rooting for you too. So good luck. Back to you guys. Well, this is it. The last chance for our 10 finalists to make a huge impression with our selection committee. It's the evening gown competition. Tonight's top 10, beginning with South Africa. All right, this is a wow, but I'm very nervous. This is a nail biter because it's a beautiful gown. Miss South Africa looks absolutely stunning, but she's having a hard time walking in this. You can see the issue she's having with her shoes and the hemline of that dress makes me very nervous and it's affecting her presentation. such ease, but she knows exactly what she's doing. From the moment she walked into rehearsals, we couldn't help but notice everything about her. She has a very strong presence and she can walk circles around most of the girls. Venezuela. Wow, this is a high impact, nude illusion look. Very glamorous. 
beautiful with her skin tone. A crowd favorite here. She's able to walk in this too with a nice sense of ease. Uh, and it's got that great silhouette. This is a really winning look for Miss Venezuela. Philippines. Has so much riding on this. And of course, a crowd favorite. Now that dress is quite daring and different. I love the color. I love her smile. She has a sultry, sultry walk. Costa Rica. Costa Rica giving this beautiful blue embellished down with that uh, ostrich feather hemline. I'm not a huge fan of this dress. I don't love all of the leg that's showing, and um, it's, it's not one of my favorites. Also, that sleeve detail is a little distracting to me. Curacao. Incredible. What a dress, and it fits her to the T. I love the hair, the chignon, the, the earrings. Everything is perfect. She looks regal. She definitely looks like a standout. It's been 24 hours, I need more hours with you. Step now the bottom of this gown is orange to represent marigold flowers and it fades to silver to represent the Himalaya, Himalayas of Nepal. I find it a, a little distracting as well. This is not one of my favorites. I'd like to see maybe even a little more skin, a little stumble there. It's all about the recovery. Uh, but again, the hemline looks real heavy and a little bit awkward. Canada. Old Hollywood glamour. Wow, we can definitely see one of the older dames wearing this, Arita Hayward. It gives me drama. She's carrying the dress. It's not too much. Absolutely beautiful. Thailand. Crowd's going crazy here in Bangkok for Miss Thailand. More than 100,000 Swarovski crystals in this gown. Very confident walk. Very glamorous choice with the red. Beautiful presentation. Puerto Rico! There's been lots of buzz about Puerto Rico from the very beginning. A little insider tip, we had a hard time with a sultry look. Her flirt came across as very youthful, and that's the only thing the other girls had over her. All right, so now that we've seen both swim and evening gown, who do you guys think is going to be the solid top five? Oh, my gosh. South Africa, Puerto Rico, and I'm telling you, Canada is really exciting. Let's not, yeah, let's not forget about Canada and Vietnam. Yes, she looked beautiful. All right, well, let's see if the selection committee feels the same. Coming up, another live performance from Grammy Award-winning superstar Neo when Miss Universe continues live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss Universe. These finalists have all shown they have the drive and determination to make it to the top 10. But after swimsuit and evening gown, 10 becomes five. The selection committee has spoken and I have the results right here. The first contestant to make it to the final five is Puerto Rico! Still 
still alive in the competition is Vietnam. Earning spot number three is Philippines. Locking down the fourth spot is South Africa. Six women are still hoping to advance to the next round, but there's only one spot left. Keeping her dream alive is Venezuela! Say hello to our final five. One of these amazing women will become our next Miss Universe. As exciting as it is to make it this far, our contestants have no time to celebrate because right now they face the question. Miss Universe takes on a great responsibility working as a global ambassador. She must be sharp, quick on her feet, and able to communicate with clarity and confidence. Contestants, get ready because your answers will determine who makes it to the final three. Tonight's questions were written by some people who know you very, very well your fellow contestants. Now, once I read your question, you'll have 30 seconds to deliver your answer. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Puerto Rico, Vietnam, and Venezuela will be using an interpreter. Here we go. Puerto Rico, please join me at center stage. How are you? Great. <laughs> well, here's your question. Hundreds of journalists across the world were jailed this year for writing stories that were critical of their governments. Why is freedom of the press important? Cientos de periodistas fueron encarcelados este año por haber hecho reportajes que fueron críticos de sus gobiernos. ¿Por qué usted piensa que es tan importante tener la libertad en la prensa? La prensa está para informarnos. Eh, nos debe mantener al tanto de las cosas importantes que están pasando en el mundo. The press is there to inform us. Their job is to give us the news about what's happening in the world right now. Creo que ellos deben tener total libertad de publicar la realidad de lo que está pasando. They should have total freedom to be able to report exactly what's happening. Sin olvidar nunca que deben ser sensibles y deben tener empatía, porque hay muchas personas que están sufriendo por los problemas que hay en el mundo. Without forgetting that they have to have sympathy because there are a lot of people that are suffering different problems in the world. Capunca. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Vietnam, you're up. How are you? I'm very good and very happy. Thank you very much, Miss Universe. Well, here's your question. The Me Too movement has sparked a global conversation. In response, some have said that the world has become too politically correct. Do you think the Me Too movement has gone too far? Phong trào Me Too đã làm thế giới nói chuyện về nhiều. Em có nghĩ là phong trào Me Too có nói quá không? Bản thân em không nói quá. Bởi vì khi mà bảo vệ sức khỏe con người hay bảo vệ làm dục tình dục, bảo vệ con người, bảo vệ phụ nữ, đó là một cái quyền rất lớn. She doesn't think that, I don't think that it has gone too far. Protecting women and women's right is the right thing to do. Con người chúng ta cần được bảo vệ và trong cuộc sống của chúng ta cần được tự do và cần được bảo vệ. Cảm ơn. I need 
Women need protection and rights. Thank you. Thank you, Vietnam. Philippines, it's time. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. South Africa, step right up. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, many countries across the world are experiencing an increase in immigration. Do you think countries should limit the number of refugees allowed across their borders? I think that every country should have their own rules and regulations, but for a thriving society and for all of us to stand together, we have to understand that we are all human. And we all are more alike than we are not, so we should be open to loving each other, accepting each other, doesn't matter where we come from. Thank you, South Africa. Venezuela, get ready. How are you? Hi, I'm excited. Yes. Well, what would you say to someone who believes that pageants are archaic and against the feminist movement? ¿Qué le diría una persona que piensa que los certámenes de belleza son anticuados y que van en contra del movimiento feminista? Hoy en día estamos en una era en la cual hemos avanzado muchísimo. Nowadays we live in an era in which we have advanced greatly. Los certámenes de belleza no son solo de belleza, también son de sensibilidad, de responsabilidad y de corazón. Beauty pages are not just about beauty, they're about sensitivity and about having a heart. En ellos podemos mostrar que jóvenes como yo podemos lograr alcanzar todas las metas que nos propongamos en el mundo. En beauty pages we can show that women like me can achieve any dreams that we may have in the world. Kapunka, Thailand. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, our five finalists, our five finalists have just answered some very difficult questions, and now our selection committee must decide who's still in the running. When we come back, these women will face another elimination, and later, it's our final look with a performance by three-time Grammy winner, Neo. This is Miss Universe live from Thailand. <laughs> Welcome back to Miss Universe. Okay, so we just saw contestants sweat it out in the question round. Who do you guys think had the hardest question? I think South Africa had a really difficult question. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and I think Venezuela too. You know, the question about the whole pageant idea is very topical in this setting. Yeah, but she did a good job. Okay, so now it's time to play the Miss Universe mm. game. Okay, so we all wrote down our top three picks on a card during the commercial, and now let's each all of us reveal our final three. Lou, you go first. Okay. There we go. Puerto okay, Rico, Puerto Rico, South, South Africa, Africa, and Venezuela. Venezuela. Carson? Can I say, first of all, that I was shocked that Thailand did not make this top I five. Know. I'm very shocked about that. Here are my top five. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, wrong card. Here are my top five. <laughs> Vietnam, South Africa, Puerto Rico. Vietnam, South Africa, Philippines, Venezuela. Okay, so we're going to see right. who made the cut. Back to you, Steve. We began this journey with 94 contestants. And now it's down to five. And in a moment, only three finalists will be left standing. Okay, get ready, because here are your final three. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Our second 
of three finalists is South Africa. There is only one name left for the other two finalists. Unfortunately, your Miss Universe dream ends tonight. Our final contestant in the top three is Venezuela. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. Congratulations. But you three finalists, you have to stay right there where you are because the next round begins right now. It's time for the final word. Now, each contestant will be asked the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. You've each got 45 seconds to respond. If you go over time, you'll hear this sound. Venezuela will be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. South Africa and Venezuela, headphones on. Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Please remove South Africa's headphones. South. South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Throughout my life, throughout my life, I've been exposed to both those who are privileged and underprivileged. And what I've learned is that we are all human. We all want to be loved, we all want to belong, and we all want to be seen. So we should treat each other that way. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Please remove Venezuela's headphones. Venezuela, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here is your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? ¿Cuál es la lección más importante que has aprendido en tu vida y cómo aplicarías eso en tu reinado como Miss Universo? Crecí en una familia llena de mujeres. I grew up in a family filled with women. Y cada una de ellas me enseñó algo muy importante. And each one of them taught me something very important. Pero lo que siempre recuerdo es que trabajando, luchando por nuestros sueños. But what I always remembered is that by working hard and chasing for our dreams, 
y llenándonos de coraje, fuerza y confianza, podemos lograr todas y cada una de las metas que nos propongamos en esta vida. And by having courage and strength and willingness to, willingness to achieve these dreams, we can achieve anything we want in this lifetime. Y esta noche lo corroboro, estando aquí en el Miss Universo. Gracias. And tonight I'm proving this, I am here at Miss Universe. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, we will see all three of you later for your final look. Each of our three impressive contestants have gotten in their final word. Well, I wish that final word would work for me at my house, but it don't. Anyway, let's stick around because our three finalists get one last chance to show us what they got in their final look, along with the performance by three-time Grammy-winning Neo, Miss Universe Returns. Welcome back to Miss Universe. Our final three contestants are about to get one last chance to leave a final impression. Here they are for their final look, accompanied by three-time Grammy-winning superstar, Neo. Once again for Neo. Each of these three women stand within reach of the title. When we return, it's the moment you've been waiting for all night. We crown the next Miss Universe, so don't go away. Well, welcome back everybody. Earlier tonight, we welcomed the reigning Miss Universe to this stage. Now it's time 
for her final walk before passing the crown to another amazing woman. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Universe 2017, Demi Lee Nell Peters. Being Miss Universe exceeded all my expectations. First, all the glory goes to my Heavenly Father and Savior, Jesus Christ. To my four parents and my sister, Franya, I am everything I am because of you. Tim, your love and support has endless meaning. To Paula Shugart, thank you for believing in dreams and empowering women worldwide. Sarah, Haley, Sophia, and Kyra, sisters forever. Thank you, Endeavor, Esther, and everyone at the Miss Universe organization. Thank you to all my supporters, Demi Angel, and my beautiful rainbow nation, South Africa. And to the next Miss Universe, live every moment and enjoy every second of this incredible once-in-a-lifetime journey. Thank you, Demi Lee. You have set a very high standard as Miss Universe. And in just a few moments, one of these three contestants will be following in your footsteps. Tall Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has tallied the votes. All right. Me and you, man. All right. <laughs> Finalists, it's time. I will now announce the second runner-up. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Venezuela. Congratulations, Venezuela. Only two women remain, South Africa and Philippines. Please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is... walk as Miss Universe. Carson and Lou, I'm Steve Harvey. Bye. Bye. Bye.